Hello everybody, Mary to Katie K here coming to you with a quick video. Five face powders, okay? My five fave phenomenal face powders. So let's get so, started with quick everything of the day. Well, quick snippets of some of the things of the day. The hair that I'm rocking right now is Miss Tisha. And y'all know I was not happy with Miss Tisha, but look at her now. Look at this unit now. Boom. What? I did that. I did that. If you want to see how I did that, because uh, y'all know Tisha is full of false advertising and this unit is not what it claims to be on the packaging. Look for that video below. Um, face of the day came from the Mirage palette by Coastal Scents. Um, no, Metal Mania by Coastal Scents. Just a light cream on the eye, burgundy on the outer V, soft um, copper in the middle lightly and then blend it all out with my one of my face powders I'll show you in a minute on my cheeks wet and wilds um, two wet and wild blushes I cannot think of their names pearlescent pink is one I'll put the names okay you see the annotation now and on my lips I had BH cosmetics office queen and I just basically put it on very lightly and then matted it out with some tissue so that is it. So if you are interested in videos about these products, I have not done my palette video yet, so don't look for that. But my BH Cosmetics lip swatch video will be coming up very, very soon. And Tisha's already out, so check below. Now, let's get started with my favorite face powders. Now, there are five face powders. I'm going to show you six, but I only use five of them as face powders. So let's get started. The first one is not a face powder, but I'm including it in one of my favorite face powders is because... This is the wackest face powder ever, but this is a super awesome, super duper awesome transition color. And it does work well as that. So this is LA Colors um, face powder and cappuccino. And this is a great transition color for my complexion. These are $1, I believe, at, the, at any dollar store. It should be $1, maybe two at the most. And this is a transition color that's gonna last you a lifetime pretty much. I've had this and I used to use it as face powder and it was horrible. So I use it as transition color and I've been doing that for the past six months and I've just hit pan on it. So really like that. Now I'm going to do the rest of these five phenomenal face powders in order. Five being my least favorite of, because I only own five. This is it. This is all I own. Five being my least favorite and one being my most favorite. So number five, I know mean, you guys are going to be like, what? Just, just get over it because this is, this is going to happen. Okay. So just get over it. My MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, and yes, this is authentic, purchased from maccosmetics.com because I don't have a MAC store near me. My closest MAC store is like over an hour away. Who's not driving an hour away to pay $30 for a face powder? Raise your hand. Yes, up. I'm not. Anywho, my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. This is it right here. Um, this is all right. It's a good, it's a good face powder. It's nice, but I have better. I have better in my collection that cost me less money. So this was the last product I brought from MAC. As you guys know, I purchased that in my birthday video and I'll put a link to that video below. Um, this is it. No more MAC for me. Unless it's gifted, I don't want it. I'm not spending money on it anymore because I was not impressed. So it's not that it's a bad face powder because it's not. I only own five, like I said, and this is number five for me. This is the worst of all the ones I have. It's not that it doesn't set right. I just don't like the color that it gives me. It's perfect for my skin complexion, but when I put on my foundation and put this over, it just doesn't give me the right color. This will turn a foundation more red on me and that kind of things. I don't like that about it. So I maybe should have gotten dark, which would be light, and that would have worked better. But um, yeah. This is all right, but this is definitely number five for me. Okay, the next one is number four for me. And it's not because it's bad, but this is the fourth one that I own. And this is the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. This is one of my, this is clearly my super duper faves. And this is just the regular e.l.f. High Definition Powder. I love this for setting my entire face in the summertime and then mostly for setting underneath the eye. I've told you guys before how I use this. I do my makeup, my eyeshadow and all that good stuff, my brows, whatever. Apply my concealer under the eye. Then I go through and set with the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. I set with this, with concealer only. Then I apply my foundation over my entire face and I don't ever have to go back in and apply a highlight. My highlight looks so phenomenal. 
because of this powder so that is the business well worth the three dollars spent okay well worth three dollars spent this is actually six dollars but if you get it online with the coupon it's only three and it's worth it it is worth it okay number three and this is where it gets hard because everybody wants to be number one everybody deserves to be number one but there can only be one number one so number three i'm gonna have to give it to my l'oreal true match i've had this for forever um and this is it right here i have l'oreal true match in case see it's been through the storm and the rain with me guys i have had this for a hot minute i just got through repressing it like a day or so ago and it's already cracked again so i just need to go ahead and trash this and get another one but i have the true match i'm an n8 in the l'oreal true match this has honestly been compared to MAC MFS Natural, and I don't agree with that um, because this is way better. <laughs> now, I'm not talk, talking about a price point. This works better for me than this does. So, um, I really like the L'Oreal True Match Powder. I love that it's very, it is blendable. Everything they say on this packaging for it being blendable, um, it is. And this is a neutral eight, and it is, I mean, it's perfect. It's perfect for me. And I really like the packaging on this because your product's here, but your mirror is here. Sorry, guys. For blonde you know how you people ask if they you know well i'm not at school anymore you know how you were at school can i see a mirror can i see a mirror you have to give me your mirror with your powder you didn't want to do that gosh why wasn't this packaging out when i was in high school and college okay this would have been perfect okay can i see a mirror uh, yes it's in the back my mirror's in the back and that would have been more super perfect so really like this now my number two face powder is the milani powder foundation and i have it right here and I have it in the number seven. The color is Creamy Cocoa. Formula on this is great. Um, reminds me of this. And actually the colors together, they are very, actually they're, they're pretty much the same color. You get a lot more product with the Milani. And the way the Milani packaging is set up, the mirror is here, the product is here. And then underneath, they have a sponge you can use. So, it has a nice little setup for the way this works. I really like this powder. I love the way it goes over my face, and I really do believe it is an even touch powder foundation. It's super blendable. I really like this, and I use it to set my face, and it works no matter what color my foundation is. It could be too dark, too light. This is going to even it all out. It really does that. All right, I know you're all waiting. Number one, my best um, face powder that I own. Now, honestly, this is the best face powder, period, point blank to me. And this is going to be the CoverGirl Cover Girl True Blend Face Powder. Okay, look at that packaging. Ooh. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Face Number Powder. Number six, Translucent Sable. Guys, this is the one. When I tell you this is the one, I mean it. It is translucent. Um, the way it just sits on your skin, and it doesn't like sit on your skin, basically. The way it doesn't sit on your skin is what I mean to say. It's phenomenal. Like words cannot truly describe how much I enjoy that face powder. I started using it when I was in college. I just happened upon it by accident. I picked up the wrong thing and I've been buying that ever since. And a lot of times they run out of it and I keep at least two or three in my stash. When I buy another one, I just go ahead. When I use one, switch it out, I go ahead and buy another one. I always try to keep two or three because you never know when they'll get rid of your favorite product. And I really like it. I love the way that it goes on my skin. I love how velvety it is. I love that when it sets, it actually works. Okay, and this is it right here. So you can't, if you look at it, you can see where the shine is here, the shine is here, but it's not here. But you don't see any powder on my hand. It's phenomenal. It is truly phenomenal. So that's it guys, those are my top five phenomenal face powders. And again, I threw one more honorable mention that's works great as a transition color. I want you guys to comment down below or do a well video response. I don't know if they're doing those anymore. But if you do do a video like this, then send me a message with it so that I can watch it. But let me know. Comment down below or share with me via video. What are your favorite um, face powders? It will be your top five, all right? Thank you so much for tuning in. See you in the next video. Bye.